Hello everyone, this is an all extensive guide as to how to use your Nextchat account. To log in with Google, click the login button and then select Google. Choose one of your Gmail accounts to log in, accept all terms, and boom, you'll be signed in. Login successful, this is your home page. To log in with email, we're going to click the same button, use email instead, enter your email, in my case I'll use my personal one, enter any password that you used, and boom, you'll be logged in. New accounts will be met with this page to create a bot. These are some basic attributes for you to fill out. These include agent name, next IDs, and a role for your chatbot. These roles come with pre-designed information based on that role. For example, investment advisors. On the left, you have the appearance tab. Here you can change more extensive pieces of content about your AI. These include business name, agent name, language, phone number, and welcome messages. These can be customized to your liking. You can choose to show or hide your avatar. Based. The preview on the right shows the updated changes you have made to your bot. For example, when I type in affiliate marketing in the business name, on the right, the business name will appear in the preview tab. Here you can change the widget, specifically the little button down there on your homepage, your future homepage. You can change the pop-up message. Right now it's set to, hi there, how can I help you? You can change its style, including its position, the way it pops up, if it opens on, on hover or default open, and whether or not the widget is open. Lastly, we go over to the profile page. You can change your profile title. Again, preview on the right will show you any changes you've made. Right now, if you type in affiliate marketing, you can see that it changes the preview on the side. Profile description, that adds a profile description underneath your profile title. Your business logo, links, and different socials can also be inputted. Right now, there is no business logo, so it just says AM. Links, you can type in a link. We will use google.com as an example, and that adds to the link. You can select a social platform from the many options there are. You can change the style, including if you want to use an image or just a solid color. Changing the color, such as making a red or black, will show on the side. The button color can also be changed if you use, want to use blue or a different color. Making our way over to the left side bar, we can go to the training tab. Here you can customize the information that your bot has. You can upload your personal website URL if you already own a website. The updated uploaded materials tab shows any materials that you have already updated. If you have a PDF or a Word file with given text that your bot can learn, you can also upload that. The text part you can upload a title, such as affiliate method. The AI will read this text and update its own software. Clicking the train button will upload this text to the server. And now if we wait for the uploaded material, it will see affiliate method with a specific amount of text. It's listed as a text. Going back to the menu page on the left, we can use try your chatbot. This will simulate a realistic page with your chatbot's content. Here we can say, hi, what is this? The chatbot will give a response. This response is based on the training we have given it in the training tab previously explained. These are pop-ups that the customer will receive once they use your chatbot. These pop-ups guide them to ask relevant questions about anything that they're seeking from your services. Making our way back over to the left side, we will see the digital card page. Here you can customize a custom name card for you and your business. I'm gonna put my name in it and we're gonna assume that my position is a CEO. You, here you can put a business logo. In my case, I don't have one, so it's just gonna use my initials, YL. You can change the style and theme of this card. Changing it will change the preview on the right. You can also change the background, just like the other different materials we have. The image, you can input an image, but I don't have an image right now, so we will use a color. Saving it will create your card with the custom QR code. The last custom piece you can make is a personal page. This will be a website powered by NextChat, and it will include your chatbot. Here, you can put in any training you want the page to know before it generates. Um, this is on the training page. Going back over to the personal page, we can click Generate Website. This will take a moment as it reads any pieces of input you have put into the training page and it generates images, 
words, and formats your website. Here is your generated website. This includes an image on the left, which is AI generated, text on the right that introduces you, and your about us section. Here below, you have contact information, links, and social media. You can input any type, such as phone number, in the contact information. Here I'll use a random phone number. Adding that will have it below the contact information. Any links you would like to have, you can give it a title, such as my website, and a URL. I will use google.com. Adding that, we'll put it below the link section. And lastly, there's a social media section. You can select from the many different platforms that we support. I will be using the first one, Discord. You can put an in, input a URL, discord.gg. You can add that, and that will give it a little icon that represents the social media. You can also change the image. You can delete it and upload an image that you like, or you can use an AI generator and use a custom prompt. Using the prompt given, which was money, it will generate an image, such as this one, which represents money. You can save and now publish your website. It will ask you to update your website, and you can now view the new page. Lastly, we will talk about chat history. Here, I have a little bit of chatting I have done with the AI bot that I have created. We are going to go back over to the mainframe page, and here on the conversation tab, we can see the live conversation that I just had with the AI chatbot. Moving on to contact list, I left my email with the AI chatbot. This means that the person who owns the chatbot, which is me in this case, will have the email if I ever want to contact them after. Thank you for taking the time to consider our product, and this has been your extensive guide as to how to use NextChat.